though, Game of Thrones always manages to shock viewers with the events of its episodes. Several of the biggest and moments were hinted at long before they actually happened on screen, and there's reason to believe that the same foreshadowing has already happened for season 8. There is truly never a wasted line of dialogue on the HBO series, and that has been proven several times over. From events that have already unfolded in the show, to ones that we still have yet to see, here are five times the series hinted at what was to come before it happened. Taiwan hints that Joffrey will not be king, S3, E10, MHYSA. While it's likely no one in the God fandom was really all that upset when Joffrey, Jack Gleason, finally met his end at his own wedding, we did receive quite a few hints that his was coming, and he wasn't going to continue being king for very long. One of the most notable moments came in the season 3 finale, when he shouted about being the king at a small council meeting, using it as his excuse to be able to serve Sansa, Sophie Turner, her brother Rob's, Richard Madden, head on a platter at the upcoming wedding. His shout was met with disapproval by his own grandfather and hand, Tywin, Charles Dance, who informed him that anyone who needed to shout about being the king, was no true king after all. While the comment seemed like a simple lesson in diplomacy at the time, it later became evident that the line of dialogue was a subtle hint that Joffrey wasn't going to remain king for long. Sure enough, two episodes later, he was dead. Tyrion and Jaime discuss different kinds of murder S4E8, the Mountain and the Viper, another that was strongly hinted about, but in the brilliantly subtle way that the show has become known for, was Tywin's. In one episode, two before his murder, his upcoming was subtly referred to not once, but twice. The first time it was hinted at happening was when Tyrion, Peter Dinklage, reminisced with Jaime, Nikolai Coster, Waldau, about how he would be punished if he lost his trial by combat, since he was being accused of regicide. Tyrion went through a list of different types of murder to arrive at the word he was looking for when it came to the crime he stood accused of, and included patricide, or the ing of a father, in his list. While he also stated matricide and several others, it was Jaime's subtle reaction to Tyrion's mention of patricide that was the real hint. He remained quiet during his brother's list, but let out a small scuff after patricide was named. It was perhaps the subtlest hint of all that Taiwan's days were numbered. Littlefinger comments about how men die, S4E8, the mountain and the viper, in that same episode, the where of both Taiwan and Shay's, Sabel K, upcomings was casually dropped into a conversation that was taking place thousands of miles away. After successfully getting away with murdering Lisa, Kate Dickel, Littlefinger, Aidan Gillen, was preparing to leave the Vale with Sansa at his side, and he was taking Lisa's son, Robin, Lino Faccioli, as well. The young boy, who had never left the Vale before, expressed concern of dying once he left the safety of his home. To reassure him, Littlefinger explained that men could just as easily in their own homes as they could outside. Among the ways he listed were in their beds, and while squatting over their chamber pots, Fast forward to the final moments of the season 4 finale, and Tyrion finally commit murder, first by strangling Shay in the bed she was now sharing with Tywin, then by taking a crossbow and shooting his father with it while he was on his chamber pot. Melisandre prophecies both hers and Varys deaths S7, E3, the Queen's justice, seeing as how priors were subtly mentioned prior to their happening, it could seem that this particular pair of them that is supposed to happen in season 8 is a red herring. This is a much more direct reference, as Melisandre, Karis Van Houten, blatantly tells Varys, Conleaf Hill, that they are both supposed to in Westeros, and would. However, with the show coming to an end, it's safe to bet that at least in this case, the lack of subtlety isn't some random ploy that was trotted out for no purpose. Again, the show never wastes a single line of dialogue, and since both are secondary characters with only six episodes left, it's easy to believe they will perish. The question is simply more one of how theirs will happen, versus if. Elena warns Jamie how he'll die, S7, E3, the Queen's Justice, a that was potentially more subtly hinted at in Season 7 was Jaime's. When he went to meet with Elena, Diana Rigg, and serve her the poison she was to drink for her, she told him he was a fool for loving Cersei, Lena Hetty, because one day, she would get him Ed. While there are only theories about how Cersei will in Season 8, there has always been a question of whether or not Jamie would also. It has been long believed he is the Valencor, or little brother, who would do Cersei in. Based on alleged script leaks for the new season, this may only be partially true, and Olena's words about Cersei being the end of him will also ring true. Game of Thrones Season 8 will air in 2019. Game of Thrones is known for subtly referring TOS and major events before they happen. Photo, HBO.